we shall today discuss about photography and the ethics involved. As you know, photographs are an integral part of a newspaper. It is said that a photograph speaks a thousand words. In today's newspaper, with the development of television, where the visual media brings in photographs of different day-to-day -day incidents, newspapers also are getting ready to face the challenge posed by the visual media. In any big or medium-sized newspapers today, you will find teams of highly professional photographers running to cover the events and incidents taking place every day. Apart from the staff reporter reporting report photographers who cover the day-to-day -day incidents, staff photographs are, photographers are also used for photographs used by the newspaper in their magazine section or supplements. That is, suppose they plan a story for a supplement, the staff photographers are asked to take the relevant photographs needed for that article or feature. Apart from the, the, the first staff photographers, newspapers also subscribe to some private parties for photographs that are needed by the newspaper for events like say national events or international events. Now, staff photographers generally are locally based, so you cannot expect them to get photographs taking place, say, in Delhi or in some foreign country. For that, we subscribe to some private photographic services. Like today, we have the United News of India or Press Trust of India, PTI, which supplies the photographs to us from foreign locations and all that. And this is today done through the satellite connections. Earlier, say, 10 to 15 years back, we used to get photographs from Delhi or Bombay after two, three days. But today we don't have to wait for that long. Due to the developed techno the technology in communication, we can get the photographs through satellite connections in our newspapers in immediately. So that is why you, uh, the newspapers are today able to keep pace with the visual media in the field of photography. Now, when we use a, a photograph, you must be very careful that the photograph that is used is reflects the context in which it is used. We don't use a photograph just for the fun of it. There must be a message, there must be a, uh, some sense, new sense involved. Sometimes you see we use the photograph to supplement the news. If there is a big uh, event taking place, whether it is a, a big uh, natural dis disaster or it's a big event, then we give a accompanying photograph to support the news. So it must be used with a certain context. We will, similarly, it must be remembered when we are getting photographs, where the photograph comes number of photographs will become uh, will come on the our system that is the satellite system uh, on our computers and while selecting the photograph we must see the judge that is the the angles and the composition of the photographs because the some photographs might not be that good you say in the matter of composition or the angles and all that so a good uh, editor or a the news editor will apply his mind to select the best picture in terms of composition, in terms of angles, in terms of expressions and feelings that is reflected in the photograph. So that is very important in uh, selecting the photograph because it sometimes even it happens that we don't use even the photograph given by our own staff photographer because his photograph might not be of that 
uh, standard which the photograph coming from an outside source might be better and we always go for a better photograph so sometimes we don't even compromise on quality there is, there is the staff photographers for photograph might not be used just because he is a staff photographer because quality at the end of the day counts now similarly sometimes when you use a file photograph suppose there is a say a incident or a report and we want to use a photograph suppose some uh, person has been say big leader or a celebrity has been involved say in a scam or some scandal now you would would like to give a photograph say a file photograph of that personality which depicts a say a, a sad look or a say look that reflects his agony and all that we won't give him smiling and all that as if he is enjoying himself so the photograph must reflect the mood of the story so this is very important and this is very important when we are using a file photograph to reflect the mood of the uh, report now you say uh, uh, with the uh, advancement of technology and uh, computers and other uh, developments you see now many unscrupulous photographers and all that might resort to say making or no try to morph the photograph to superimpose now that is very will be very illegal and unethical and a true professional will never do that because if he is caught that will be the end of his professional career because you see journalism as such depends on good faith we use a photograph or we use a news item that is sent by a news agency or a photographic agency on good faith so if there is uh, any illegality uh, in such transactions then immediately the trust will be uh, lost and in the process that person will lose his job or that contract might be terminated so ethics is very important you cannot tell just as we cannot tamper with the news similarly we cannot tamper with the photograph of course we can do a reducing the photograph or no enlarging it those type of technicalities are all right but you cannot tamper with the subject you cannot change the face or put someone in someone's place and all that so tampering with the photograph which is highly unethical will not be tolerated and not accepted so this must be kept in mind now even you see uh, when we are uh, uh, say uh, how do we present the photograph in a say newspaper and all so that will depend on like the space that we get in the newspaper like say because you say sometimes there might be a uh, lot of news vying for attention important news which we need to publish on that day itself then there might be another problem that there uh, uh, the advertisement content might be high and there is less space for say publication of even the news then in certain cases like that now if there is a necessity of publishing a photograph we might take it in a small format if we really need to give the photograph because whatever it is at the end of a photograph of a standard size only i mean no it's attractive to the reader sometimes when you give, give it in a very reduced form it will lose its appeal so this is very important like and that will depend on the circumstances in which the editor finds himself because uh, he has to uh, meet the demands of advertisements on one side the demands of space then also the pressure of the news that has to go on that particular day so that is decided by the editor considering all these factors in case of photograph for you see it is their, their job is more pressing than that of even a reporter a reporter even if he is late he can get the news from some other source but it is not the case of in case of a their photographer he must be present uh, at, uh, at the right time and at the right place if he is not present there he lose that moment that moment will be gone forever and you will not be able to get his photograph so a 
photographer must be very punctual and very professional in his activities. He must be always present at the place at the right time and must take the shot at the right time. So this is very important and in this we have to say the photographer must be a very true, true professional. Thank you.